In this opening section of the meditation, I want to engage in the meditation dynamic of clearing obstacles. This is a modality of meditation that employs all four bodies very dramatically and very dynamically. The physical, subtle physical, causal, and supracausal. It generates a vibration of purification, clarification, and integration. It is especially useful to employ the deep bellows breathing in the clearing of obstacles using the magnetic force of the movement of the prana, both as integration and has a kind of magnetic pull to the center of self. Over these past 40 days or so, karma has been very accelerated, which is to say that those qualities of energy that are samskaric based based on stored impressions, are emerging from the depths of being with great force and the clicking of the gears of the wheel of time are moving very deeply and swiftly, generating powerful change in your life. One of the things that you begin to learn is that life takes place on many levels. And an easy thumbnail is that there is an experience or a language of life that correlates with each of the four bodies, the physical body of matter and the subtle physical body of the electrical force of the prana and the kundalini and the causal sheath, the, the body of mental formation. The spheres of the senses interlock primarily with the subtle physical body and the physical body, but are ruled by the mind. But there is a a mental sheath, a subtle sheath, and a physical sheath that clearly experiences every component of life unique to itself. This is one of the ideas of clearing of obstacles, is that in such a period of time, it's like you're being put into a, a tumbler and tumbled and everything is being spun dry, and a lot is being pulled out of you. And you're kind of reassembled, you're kind of taken apart and put back together. One of the ideas of clearing of obstacles is a strong, unifying pulse that originates from the center of being, the ocean of consciousness itself, and strikes like lightning through each of the sheaths of the physical, subtle physical, and bodies of mental formation, and the fourth body, the body of the Turiya, the divine Rupa. One of its benefits and effects is it gets all of the bodies aligned and on the same page and integrated with each other. Existence is basically ruled by a series of layered spiritual principles going from the gross to the more subtle to the most subtle and most refined. One of the benefits, one of the effects of Dharma activity and taking refuge in the Guru, the Dharma and Sangha, is that it brings you into contact with the highest, higher, higher, and highest dharmic principles on a regular basis. And they're brought down through the planes and fuse into your system. In a time like we've just gone through, where everybody's been put in the spin dryer and tumbled dry, A lot has been extracted and you've been tumbling and tumbling and tumbling. And 
you come out and you're the same, but you're different. And the clearing of obstacles is a powerful pulse of awakening energy, kundalini, that rolls through the entire system that kind of loosens things up and gets the top and the bottom and the middle all talking to each other. especially when you're dealing with energy, and specifically, in this case, with the meditations of the clearing of obstacles, there's a strong magnetic energy, a kundalini component, that moves through the system. And it threads the needle of the four bodies through the shashum, the and pingala, and it also employs the five pranas, descending, ascending, cycle revolution, expansion, and contraction. And the subtle body is actually divided into like a set of spokes. And it uses these avenues to generate a pathway of just pure energy through the system, pretty much from top to bottom. As it clears obstacles where things are out of sync or in the tumble and redistribution of self, things can be kind of slightly off kilter or maybe slightly obstructed. That gets knocked out and you get a clear signal from head to toe. You want to apply, using the breath, the throb of the prana to add on to an energy that's already happening. The energy is already beginning to move and cycle. And by using the breath and the slow pulsation of the bellows breath, it amplifies, it adds on to that energy, and you get a double effective performance of this clarifying, purifying, and awakening energy. One of the things that's interesting about the clearing of obstacles is it really employs all four bodies. A lot of the higher meditations, you kind of lose track of the physical body. But in clearing of obstacles, it's actually used kind of like a lightning rod. It's kind of an anchor straight into the earth. And so all four bodies are really lined up with the physical body, subtle physical body, causal and supercausal. Just to give you a snapshot, and to my eyes, in this room right at this moment, just before we start, there's a kind of bottleneck. There's this huge formation of energy that wants to come into this room. And the idea of clearing of obstacles is to open the pathway to all of the receptacles. It's like a downward pressure. That's actually one of the essences of the re-entry, where you come from a situation where you've basically been involved in a really very intense, very dramatic act of power in a place of power. And and you'll transfer to a geographically and psychologically different place. And you'll kind of be knocked out of kilter. You'll be in the stream, like when we were in retreat at Fire Mountain, where every particle of space and time is saturated with the Shakti. And so it just seems very natural. But then you like, and there's this huge pathway, this road from the highest consciousness into being. And as you move around, these planes go out of kilter. And it takes a little bit of time for them to line back up. That's what today is about. Use the gravity of the earth. The earth is your friend. You'll never have a closer friend than gravity. The eternal witness. As we begin, open the heart. Give rise to the bodhicitta.
you'll feel as the movement of the Shakti. It'll just feel like water pouring into a pitcher. Just open up, let it flow through you. Everyone, please prepare your seat. Everyone, open their heart and give rise to the bodhicitta. Begin the cycling of the bellows breath and the throb of the soham. We'll begin. <laughs> 